Hi, I'm Mr Price. And I'm Mrs Gregory and we teach A Level Art and Design, Fine Art and Photography here at Stratton. So why study A Level Fine Art or Photography? Well, the main reasons are three fourfold is to develop a higher level of practical and technical skill in your chosen specialism. And this will be a progression from your GCSE qualification. You're going to be exploring your own ideas in much more detail. You're going to enhance your creative skills and ultimately you're going to develop a much more finely tuned set of critical thinking skills. What's covered within the Fine Art course? Just like GCSE, there are four assessment objectives, AO1, AO2, AO3 and AO4. And we cover those using perspective, composition, elements, so line, shape, value, form, texture, colour and space, the human figure, anatomical studies, and we think about how, how we see, say, critical thinking and proportions. So as part of the photography component, some of the techniques that we explore are darkroom practice, where we explore wet-based photography, film ex exclusively. Um, we explore exposure control, so how a camera works in much more fine detail. We also look at a raw digital workflow, which is a higher quality digital imaging processing technique. We also explore composition more broadly. We also uh, experiment with studio practice, so we use studio lighting to a high level. We also explore all of the elements, such as line, shape, value, form, texture, colour and space, um, the same as in fine arts. And also we think about um, critical thinking skills and develop those too. How is A-level art and design assessed? In year 12, you spend the year focusing on your foundational skills and then in year 13, you move on to component one, which is a personal investigation where you focus on an area that you're most interested in and you develop that all the way up until the February of year 13, where you will be given um, an externally set assignment by the exam board with a theme that you can choose, um, which will finish off with a final 15 hour sustained piece. So where can art and design take you? So a lot of students progress on to um, higher education. So that could be to do a one year foundation in art and design, or to do a degree, an undergraduate degree for three years at a university. Um, you could also do a teaching degree and to teach art, design or photography. There are a growing number of creative apprenticeships that are available within the local area that you live in, or more widely um, in London, perhaps. Um, and there's a huge job market um, in the creative arts. Um, the creative arts sector in the UK is one of the um, highest uh, GDP rates in, in Britain. Um, it yields a higher um, GDP than the finance sector. So it's a really massive uh, industry to get into. And you've got everything from designing, graphic design, web-based design. You've got um, uh, multimedia, uh, photography, fashion, textiles, um, fine art more generally. Um, you also got um, people management skills as well. So uh, art dealers, art therapy, um, being an art agent. Um, there's just a whole plethora of different artists um, and areas to go into. And you've also got a massive growing sector in digital as well. So in the games sector, um, programming, um, and lots of games companies need uh, animators, they need um, uh, uh, concept artists to, to produce um, artwork for games. So it's a massive growth area. A-level is much more different than GCSEs because you get to be more independent with your work and you get to develop your own skills and explore different mediums. Um, in year 12, 
you learn the fundamentals about using the seven elements and learn techniques such as color theory and how to use different textures and the fine scale and then you can apply those knowledge into your year 13 in personal investigation and that topic could be any of your choosing it could be important to you or it could be something that you feel passionate about like my personal investigation is about this open society and I'm taking all of the negative aspects of the world right now like mental illness and global warming and politics into one singular composition um, and you get to two terms to finish your personal investigation and explore different medias and so this is a um, after study of Blixinski who made art about the Holocaust and World War II and this is my response taking the idea of repetitions and um, hands and many figures and turning in to this basically. Then my other after study was Alexander McQueen, which is a fashion designer, which is different to me because I mainly study um, paintings and such. And then I experimented with sculpture and making an actual headpiece myself, um, which resulted in this. And I played around with texture and Photography. This was my development for both artists, and I focus on model and photography and experimented with light and colors. This is another um, art study, which was a photographer. And I took the concept of his um, street photography and capturing a moment in time and did my own public photography work in art galleries that I visited over the months and edited them, edited them in a way that it's meaningful to my theme. developed even more by painting on photography work and did some observational drawings in real life. Then experimented with more textures and how I could simplify using it and using more resources as trash is like, you know. I recorded my art galleries into my sketchbook and told and put in it what inspired me the most and made my own responses and what you're working towards is a final piece This page is not finished yet, but I'm working on an installation for my final piece and it's going to involve many um, medias such as sculpture, making, photography work um, and maybe even video so I could Here is some of the work that you will be doing in year 12 This is an example of some of the different areas that you might cover within your personal investigation. Please do pop up and see us in the art department. We'd love to have a chat with you a little bit more about the course and to answer any questions you have.